Hey what's going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to calculate Miller indices of a point and a plane. Now let's see how to calculate for a point. Here we have a point. So let's illustrate this one clearly. Here we have a point and the head is right here, the tail is right here and this point is in the XZ plane. We can convince ourselves it's in the XZ plane by drawing a cross like this. Okay, so this is in the XZ plane and this this tail is in the xy plane right so it's here 2 over 3 2 over 3 and this is 1 over 2 1 over 2 now first uh, let's go ahead and write this is head to tail so we have to subtract tail from the head okay now let's look at the head head is for x axis it's half right and y axis it's not touching the y-axis because this is in the xz plane there's no y-axis so this is zero y-axis zero and the z-axis is also half minus the tail is 2 over 3 in the x and uh, 2 over 3 in the y since this is in the origin there's no z-axis z is zero okay now we have to subtract now in order to subtract it's better to have same denominator in that way we can subtract this one easily now let's bring everything in the same denominator so for this one two three the common denominator can be six so if you multiply this one by three this will be three over six zero three over six minus here we have to multiply by two so four over six four over six zero and if we subtract three minus four that's going to give us negative one over six and here we are going to have 0 minus 4 over 6 that's going to be negative 4 over 6 and then 3 over 6 minus 0 that's going to be just 3 over 6 so this is what we are getting now the next step is we have to get rid of this fraction form we have to always give the answer in full form so this is if you multiply everything by 6 this is going to give us negative 1 negative 4 3 but instead of putting negative 1, negative 4, negative uh, 3 in when we express Miller indices we always put bar for negative values so 1 bar, 4 bar, 3 so this is going to be the final answer now let's see how to calculate min Miller indices for a plane to calculate min Miller indices for a plane there are three steps first we have to find out the intercepts intercepts, let's write with a different color Okay, first intercepts. The second one is we have to find the reciprocal of these intercepts. Reciprocal of these intercepts. And after that, we have to reduce the intercepts. Reduce the intercepts. Okay. Now let's look at the first part. For the first part, we have to find out the intercepts. Intercepts okay so first uh, x intercept y intercept z intercept x intercept is half because it's touching half right here so this is half and uh, since this is parallel to y axis if you see this plane is parallel to y axis right everywhere it's parallel so this is zero y axis there's nothing and if you extend this bottom part if you extend this part right here it's going to in z axis in z axis it's going to end in negative 3 2 over 3 because it's starting at 2 over 3 and it should end at negative 2 over 3 in the y axis i mean in the z axis so this z axis should be negative 2 over 3 now the next step next step is we have to find the reciprocal okay reciprocal reciprocal is going to be 2 for this one 0 for this one this is going to be negative 3 by 2 now we have to reduce reduce mean we have to get rid of all of the fraction form and uh, in order to do that we have to multiply everything by 2 this is going to give us 4 0 minus 3 and when we have minus we when we express Miller indices we have to put bar on top 
instead of minus so this the final answer is going to be 4 0 3 bar and that's how we do that i hope this helps thanks for watching